Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge, written by Mem Fox and illustrated by Julie Vivas. There once was a small boy called Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge, and what's more, he wasn't very old either. His house was next door to an old people's home and he knew all the people who lived there. He liked Mrs. Jordan, who played the, the organ. He listened to Mr. Hosking, who told him scary stories. He played with Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. He ran errands for Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. He admired Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. But his favorite person of all was Miss Nancy Allison Delacourt Cooper, because she had four names, just as he did. He called her Miss Nancy and told her all his secrets. One day, Wilfred Gordon heard his mother and father talking about Miss Nancy. Poor old thing, said his mother. Why is she a poor old thing, asked Wilfred Gordon. Because she's lost her memory, said his father. It isn't surprising, said his mother. After all, she is 96. What's a memory, asked Wilfred Gordon. He was always asking big questions. It is something you remember, said his father. But Wilfred Gordon wanted to know more. So he called on Mrs. Jordan, who played the organ. What's a memory, he asked. Something warm, my child, something warm. He called on Mr. Hosking, who told him scary stories. What's a memory, he asked. Something from long ago, me lad, something from long ago. He called on Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. What's a memory, he asked. Something that makes you cry, my boy, something that makes you cry. He called on Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. What's a memory, he asked. Something that makes you laugh, my darling. Something that makes you laugh. He called on Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. What's a memory? He asked. Something as precious as gold, young man. Something as precious as gold. So, Wilfred Gordon went home again to look for memories for Miss Nancy because she had lost her own. He looked for the shoebox of shells he had found long ago last summer and put them gently in a basket. He found a puppet on strings, which always made everyone laugh, and he put that in the basket too. He remembered with sadness the medal which was which his grandfather had given him, and he placed it gently next to the shells. Next, he found his football, which was as precious as gold. And last of all, on his way to Miss Nancy's, he went into the hen house and took a fresh, warm egg from under a hen. Then Wilfred Gordon called on Miss Nancy and gave her each thing one by one. What a dear, strange child to bring me all these wonderful things, thought Miss Nancy. Then she started to remember. She held the warm egg and told Wilfred Gordon about the tiny speckled blue eggs she had once found in a bird's nest in her aunt's garden. She put a shell to her ear 
and remembered going to the beach by tram long ago and how hot she had felt in her button-up boots. She touched the metal and talked sadly of the big brother she had loved who had gone to the war and never returned. She smiled at the puppet on strings and remembered the one she had shown to her sister and how she had laughed with a mouth full of porridge. She bounced the football to Wilfred Gordon and remembered the day she had met him and all the secrets they had told. And the two of them smiled and smiled because Miss Nancy's memory had been found again by a small boy who wasn't very old either. The end. What a lovely story.